But first of all, um, we want to introduce you to our magnesium. And by the end of the video, we'll, we will explain to you all what we find out. And you will not have to miss that. You will be shocked. I promise you. So what we have now, and I'm sure you would magnesium, glycinet. 630 milligram and as we most of us we know magnesium uh, is for healthy bones muscle and nerves and these are 630 milligrams so that means this is the dose per day so you take as i said here one capsule per day um, because magnesium it's really kind of dangerous when you overdose the maximum. The maximum dose for an adult on magnesium glycinate is 800 milligram. So here with our 630 milligram, this is fair enough for a daily dose of magnesium for an adult, as I said. Magnesium, why we are doing this now, and as I said, a little bit stay until the end, because magnesium, of course, it's not a herb. I cannot grow it in my yard or in our greenhouse, but there is a reason why we took magnesium um, glycinate into our product line. So the benefits, and as I said, most of us know from magnesium glycinate is it can relieve anxiety. It will definitely promote bone health, which is important for us ladies because we are having the risk to have this osteoporose. <laughs> I have to find out and I will blend it down there um, in the video that you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is definitely promoting bone health, also your teeth. Um, it will manage blood sugar uh, in people with diabetes and may lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It will maintain regular heart rhythm. So if you are not doing some exercise and you feel your heart boom, 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 um, magnesium glycinate will definitely help to relax and get your heart rhythm slowed down as it, as it should be. It will also reduce symptoms of premenstrual syndromes. So premenstrual syndromes means before you start into your uh, menopause, um, I'm over it. <laughs> And so, but this can definitely help you with. And when you are doing exercise, for example, you're running, you are walking, you're going to the gym and lifting weights and all this, um, it will amplify exercise performance. So it will help you to build faster muscles um, here or when you're walking or when you are running or whatever you are doing to exercise um, it will reduce pain and the main thing what i think is important if you wake up in the night and you have this terrible painful um, calf cramp which is uh yeah it's you are standing in your bed in the middle of the night and you don't know why. And maybe it's going down to your um, tooth, toes, toes. <laughs> so, and this is one of the signs when you see, oh, uh, may I should take some magnesium. Magnesium glycinate will, and I have to say this, it will interact with, um, I have two, um, prescription medication where magnesium will interact with. The one is doxycycline. It's a prescription to treat bacterial infection. If you're on this prescription um, medicine, 
you and you want to take magnesium, then you have to wait at least two to three hours when you take the doxycycline and then two to three hours later, you can take your magnesium for your daily um, doses, which is one of these capsules. Another um, prescription medication is doxepine, which is treating anxiety and depression. So this is not like the other one I just said. You, you should not take them together. The risk of severity of neuromuscular blockade can be increased when doxycycline is combined with magnesium glycinate. So you should not take these two medication together. So now, um, what we find out, because um, magnesium, as I said, most of us, we will take it because of our cramps in the night, um, because it's so painful and everything. So we were looking and looking a little bit deeper in the magnesium you can buy over the counter. We checked a couple of them, and one result was really shocking for us. So to make it clear again, we have, let me show you the capsules here. These are the capsules, and these are capsule size 0, zero so they can hold maximum 730 milligram of herbs. It depends on um, how heavy the, the herb is, um, how heavy the powder is we put in our capsules. So in our capsule, and you can open the capsule, you can put it on your scale. Why is it not focusing? Hello? Hello? Mm. Oh, here we are. So in our capsule, and you can open the capsule, put the uh, powder on your scale is exactly 630 milligram, which is the daily dose you should take as an adult. We found, as I said, a couple of, you can find them everywhere with different brands over the counter. And what we found out, um, the same capsule size we have here, which is 630 milligram of magnesium um, glycinate in it. The same capsule size from most of the brands, but especially the one we looked a little bit deeper in it, um, has on the label, like we have here, you take one per day, which is the maximum amount on magnesium you should take per day. Um, they are saying, oh, you can take up to three capsules per day. And we said, uh, wait a minute, 630 milligram in one capsule, and they are telling you, you can take up to three capsules per day. That means you are overdose on magnesium, which is a dangerous thing. So what did we do? Hmm. We took out our scale and we uh, combined what we have in there and then we opened the capsule from this over-the-counter brand and we put, <coughs> excuse me, we put the powder on the scale. And the powder, which was in this capsule, was 1,030 milligram. So, and I can take three of them. And I said, <laughs> something is not right here. Because as I said, this is a clearly overdose on magnesium for your daily dose. So then we looked a little bit deeper in, um, in the German information we found, as well as the USA information about this brand. And we found out when you take the three capsule they are promoting on their label you have with the three capsules 360 milligram of magnesium 
which is not overdosed. But when we put the powder on our scale, it's showing us there are 1,030 milligram, whatever we assumed it is magnesium. And uh, yeah, what is in there? If they say you can take three capsules per day, which uh, equals 360 milligram of magnesium, if you divide it, that means in one capsule is only 120 milligram of magnesium. 1,030 milligram on powder we put on the scale is 120 milligram of magnesium. What is the rest? There is a difference of 910 milligram uh, in this capsule from this over-the-counter magnesium, which is, yeah, our fillers. So what's the point of promoting your supplement as magnesium if it's after our research, it's clearly that in one capsule is only 120 milligram of magnesium comparing to our one, which is in one capsule, 630 milligram. That's why we said one capsule per day and not more. And what are all the filler in this other product we tested? And this is not the only one. There are more over-the-counter magnesium. We did our Math, we put it out, we, we weighted it on our scale and such. So none of the over-counter um, pure magnesium, what they are saying, is not. And here we are at the point why it's so important if you are going to alternative medicine, go to a master herbalist of your choice. For example, me, you know exactly we have no reason to put any filler in our products. This and only this is the reason why we now have magnesium in our uh, product line to make sure you get exactly what is written on the label and you will not be, I want to even say, pulled over the table with promising pure magnesium, 100% magnesium, when you go deeper in it and you found out this is a pure lie. So, end of my rant. <laughs> so, if you are interested in taking magnesium, think twice about it. If you take the one over the counter or you go to us or order it online and you take our magnesium glycinate, 630 milligram per capsule, which is your daily dose you can use. The maximum would be 800 milligram, but 630 milligram we thought it's fair enough. So now I, and you know that, I have to let you know I am your master herbalist. I am not a doctor. I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. What I did here or what we did was our research to find out what, the, uh, what they are selling over the counter and if it's true what's on the label. And no, it's not. And we will do more of our research to see what it's really written on the label and what you're buying, what you're putting in your body and think, hmm, it doesn't help me. Why? So this is the reason we have magnesium now in our product line, as I said. So if you have any additional questions regarding your health, may you should contact your doctor because, as I said, I'm not giving you here any medical advice. If you trust me and our, um, you can see all of our, I think, 83 now, educational videos on our YouTube channel, um, you find all the information may you are looking for. What is in our capsule? What is the herb for? What is in our tincture? How do we make tincture? Creams, oils, and all this um, alternative medicine we have here on our website and also, of course, in our store. Okay? So you can shoot us a message, you give us a call, or 
you are more than welcome to our shop. We are here on a daily basis. If it's not a blizzard or anything like the last couple of days, um, we are here from noon to five. Or if you are later, give us a quick call. We can open the store, the shop, whenever you are here because it's on our property. Okay, so this was the shocking news about magnesium, not our magnesium, but the one you can buy over the counter to show you what you're really buying if you are not going deeper in this product. What we are doing, and I promise you we will do it with more. This was just the beginning to compare our products, or maybe we have to take, um, like we do now with magnesium, in our product line to make sure you get what you pay for. Okay, so this was Ute from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner. I wish you a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay warm, and I see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to our video channel. 83 videos, educational videos. And you will not miss that. This is very, very important for you. Okay? As I said, bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. This was Ute from Ute's Herbal Witch Corner. Love and light.